guys, so today I'll be doing this cool idea that I saw on Pinterest where it's kind of like an outfit of the day but for your makeup. Now today is just kind of like a lazy day, there's not much going on but I just thought that I would put on some makeup because I tend to function better when I don't look like a zombie. So the first thing I'm doing is taking this proactive oil free moisturizer with SPF 15. And I'll just stop any extra thing. And then just put a little EOS. So starting off, I'm going to skip foundation and go straight for concealer. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. But I bought a new one of these today and my mom says that my color should be medium. So it kind of depends. This one I think looks more like my skin. But the good thing is, is I'm almost done with this one. So that's good. So I'm just dotting this kind of all over my face on any imperfections or anything. I'm also gonna put it on my eyes just to help cover up. I'm gonna be using the buffing brush from Real Techniques to blend this out. I really love all these Real Technique brushes that I got for Christmas. I think that if you're looking for a nice affordable brush that you should get this. And I'm going to be setting it with the MAC Marilla Skin Finish in Medium. I haven't used this in a while because it doesn't keep me matte all day. But I'm just going to be using this kind of all over my face. And it has like a pretty good coverage, I think. That's one thing I like about it. And then I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques Contour Brush for under my eyes. I've been skipping bronzer a lot and so I'm just going to go to blush. This is the Fox in a Box and Hot Flash by Hard Candy. Oh, and this is the Elf Crystal Collection. For an eyeshadow base, we already used that concealer, so I'm just gonna kind of back that up with the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. And I'm just blending that out. For the base of my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking this Rimmel Quad in Diamond Jubilee and taking the two lightest shades in the palette and then just mixing them together. Then I'm taking the hazel color in that palette and then I'm just going to be taking a fluffy blending brush and blending that to my crease. Then I'm taking the same hazel color and bringing it under my eyes. I got this a couple days ago and it's the Revlon Little Single Eyeshadows in Osler, I believe it's called. And I'm not gonna lie, it is really chalky, but I think that it's a really pretty color. And um, it's just a very light cream, shimmery color. And I'm just popping that into the inner corner. For mascara, I'm going to go with the Revlon, I mean the Maybelline the Rocket Mascara in Waterproof. This, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of clumpy, but I just like barely put on my lashes and it looks really pretty. Small, really natural looking lashes. I'm gonna skip eyeliner and go straight on to my eyebrows. The wax just because sometimes they can feel it's a little bit too harsh. So I'm just going to be using the lighter powder and just following the natural shape of my brow. going to be combing through my eyebrows just so they're not as harsh from elf on my eyebrows my lips have been a total disaster recently I have a cut in my outer lips so every time I move my lips it hurts and then below it I have this like pimple or something coming up so I didn't want to bring too much attention to my lips but I wanted something that would kind of cover those up this is the elf jumbo lip plastic and this is in a pink umbrella So if you 
guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with some deer requests because I'm doing a spring break video, which means I'm posting a video every single day of my spring break. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to, I already said that, uh, make sure to subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!